Welcome back to JK McLeod. Today I'm working on a, I guess a chainsaw oddity. It is a right model GS 2016 reciprocating saw. Just think of it as a uh, gas powered sawzall. Circa, um, I think it's 1960, I'll have to check on that. Uh, I can't find any IPLs or manuals or so I'm just kind of winging it over here. Uh, initially had no spark. So, you know, four little screws here, the cover comes off, flywheel behind it, pop the flywheel off, and the points in the, in the ignition are right there. Uh, the points were gapped at dirty, of course, I uh, got in to clean them, but they were initially gapped at like an 014, and since I don't have any, uh, any, you know, paperwork on this, you know, I figured, all right, I'll... The, the, the standby is like, I don't know, between 016 and 018, so I got it a, a fairly tight 017 for the points, got them cleaned up, put it back in, and lo and behold, we had spark. And threw a little gas in the carb, you know, gave it a, gave it a couple of pulls, and she fired off. Okay, great. Uh, next was, you know, the, the fuel line here. But like, um, I guess on um, David Bradley's and the couple McCulloch's and stuff like that, uh, they have a, a fitting here with a, a thicker line, but then there's a another fitting on the inside That's in and I guess one quarter with a, a hose that goes into the tank that part was I don't know I guess you know, I guess about you know, maybe about that big and it, it, it didn't even go halfway into the tank the filter was off You know, it was all kind of ratty so that it wasn't even touching whatever fuel was in the tank and This line here comes out of the tank into the top of the carb was all rotted as well yeah, that little, you can see little cracks in that. I didn't trust it. So I changed it out, put two decent uh, hose clamps on it, 3 8 hose, uh, you know, the old Tigon with a, with a Walboro filter. Let me see what I got. A picture of a Walboro. You know, the Walboro weighted filters. I think, those, I think those work the best. And, uh, it took him um, three, four times of, of priming it to get the to get the carb to prime, but yeah, she took off. Yeah, I'm adjusting it, and uh, it, you know, I guess the seals are right. I flipped it on its sides and uh, up and down. You know, it didn't the idle didn't drop. It, it settled down. It took a little took a little doing. Initially, it was it was pretty rich. I guess they they must have you know tried to adjust the oil, you know adjust all the settings. And you know, there should be. I think this is I don't know one. Probably one and, a, and an eighth out. That seems to be where it's happiest. And you adjust the high side with this little wheel here. And I'm gonna pop that off, give that a nice good clean. And clean up whatever whatever gunk remains. When I was inside, I got out a, a, a decent amount. But since uh, these rights don't have oilers, and it's just, it's just fuel and a, so like a, a sickle bar and the blade I have to watch this puppy's a little sharp yeah very sharp and it kind of let's see if I can get it to go it's just kind of offhand kind of fits in that way and the blade goes back and forth and that's how it does this cutting you know it, it's not fast by any stretch of the imagination but yeah, this blade's pretty darn sharp and a little bit of surface rust on here. I'm gonna give it a, you, know, you see I've been hitting it with some steel wool. You know, a little PB blaster, steel wool, wipe it off, let it soak. And hopefully I can get most of that surface rust off. Uh, let me finish putting it together and uh, get the bar on it and uh, see what we get. Well, like I said, and a, a good cleaning. Let me get it all back together and we'll see how she goes. Here's the right reciprocating GS 2016 back together. I'll check the blade, give it a good cleaning. Okay, now the blade's top part of it here. You got one, two Allen head, and on the bottom is the Allen head that goes into the. I guess it. I guess an output shaft. And actually, from what I can see from uh, from the pictures, it's actually it part of the piston. Let me 
Let's see if I can uh, yeah, grab a piston here. But in any case, you know, it's like the like the output, like it sits on top of the piston and just moves back and forth. So it's a very strange design. But I got it running the other day. Cleaned up. Got the bar going. Put it back together. Clean up the exhaust. I'm going to see if this gal actually runs. It's been sitting for a couple of days. Let's see what we get.
up, going well. Now, the one thing that's strange is that there's nothing to lubricate this bar here, which is weird. I mean, it's metal on metal. Now, I ran some grease in here just to just to keep it going. I think it eventually it's going to have to wear. I'm curious. Let's see. I mean, I've, I've watched a few demonstrations. That they're, you know, slow as all hell. But yeah, the gal's up and going. Circuit 1960 to 62. They made them. I think it's uh, 65 cc's. An oddity, and I, you know, I me, mean, I like the McCulloch oddities, and, and the first ride I've ever owned. Glad I got it up and going. Thanks for watching.